Hi, welcome to local elevator regression algorithm working principle. Uh, the local elevator regression algorithm uh, is uh, uses the uh, uh, data points which are uh, available in the training data set to calculate the distance uh, between a new test data point uh, and it will uh, uh, predict based upon the uh, closest data points data patterns so here we will assume the number of data points already available in the given uh, plot these are all training samples then assume the new data point which is coming uh, into the uh, model uh, so the data point is denoted by using the x cube so that is the query data point uh, we have to build uh, approximation function f uh, f dash that fits the training data points close to the new data point x q which are all the data points close to the new data point uh, query data point x q so for that we can use the linear uh, function uh, uh, function of uh, the new query data point x q equal to theta 0 theta 1 into attribute uh, i mean feature value 1 this is like a x1 right theta 2 into x2 that is the attribute of uh, value of feature 2 then uh, etc a theta n and attribute of xn so here uh, ai of x denotes the ith feature or ith attribute of given sample x uh, theta is weight of corresponding uh, feature initially assign the random weights to the theta then we will update the weight value to uh, reduce the uh, cost close to the zero parameter tuning will be done by applying the gradient descent to the cost function here we will use the cost function as list square error method so that is 1 by 2 summation of i equal to 1 to m uh, y i mean uh, actual i output minus predicted output whole square uh, how to uh, update the weights using gradient descent so before that we have to calculate the cost by uh, calculating the distance between uh, data points all the uh, data points from the training samples and query data point that is that is the test data point so now uh, we calculated the uh, total cost cost of the given uh, model for query data point x q then here we should uh, update the parameters to reduce the error for that we will apply the gradient descent to update the parameter theta we can go with a new theta value equal to old theta value plus uh, that cost function a differentiation of partial differentiation of cost function so that is the thing given here so that means here alpha into dou j by dou theta then uh, here we can substitute the values uh, for the partial differentiation based upon the partial differentiation when you are applying uh, you will get alpha into uh, dou uh, j this is the j cost function that is the j of theta cost function already we, are, we have seen in the previous uh, uh, slide i equal to 1 to m number of samples actual output of ith sample minus predicted output of the ith sample whole square that's what given here uh, now uh, we are uh, going to uh, do the partial differentiation with respect to this cost function then when you are applying the uh, do j divided by do theta then uh, you will you will get a differentiation with respect to theta you will get 2 into that terminology this terminology then uh, when you are applying the uh, when you are uh, uh, differentiating with respect to other variables 0 minus do theta j x j divided by do theta j so finally you will get here alpha into uh, alpha is the learning rate then uh, this uh, cost function then x i j so this has to be done uh, for uh, all the theta values this is the generalized equation to update the theta theta new value equal to old theta minus alpha into uh, cost function into x i j right so we have to repeat this for many number of iterations so 10 iterations or 50 iterations or 
100 iterations so like that we have to uh, perform the um, updation of parameters until we are getting j of theta close to 0 uh, then uh, uh, here uh, for locally weighted regression so this is the this is the uh, cost function for linear regression this is the cost function and up parameter updation for linear regression same thing we are going to uh, apply with a small modification uh, for the locally weighted uh, regression so small modification will be applied to the uh, linear regression uh, optimization function so here we are going to use again uh, same least square error method uh, last function f of x is the actual output f dash of x is the predicted output so which is given here then we apply the chain rule so when you are applying the chain rule so this is actually attribute x i j x i j so which is the global error but uh, we need to derive the local approximation error because we are going to find, uh, use the distance metric to find out the closest data point to the uh, testing data point here uh, the cost function should emphasize fitting to the local uh, training samples that means local means close to the new test data point for that we will select uh, k number of data points close to the new data point xq new data point xq so we will select uh, k number of uh, data points close to the new data point so based upon the distance metric that will be multiplied with the cost function here given y minus y dash then multiply with this is the x i j so this is for each and every ith sample then uh, here uh, um, after modifying uh, the linear regression cost function we will minimize the squared error for k nearest neighbors by taking the only the k number of neighbors here you look at that we have taken entire data set so entire data set means i equal to 1 to m so this is the thing we have taken uh, here so but uh, here we will we will take k nearest neighbors the k is less than the m number of samples so nearest samples will be selected to find out the uh, uh, less distance samples to the test data point so the um, uh, based upon that when you are taking entire data set when you are calculating the distance of entire training samples then you have to apply a weighting uh, weightage uh, to each and every sample to calculate the error uh, by uh, decreasing the uh, function k of its distance from minimize the uh, squared error that means we will use k number of um, uh, data points to identify the closest data points to find out the similarity pattern so when we are combining both one and two finally we can calculate the uh, error to the uh, data point xq uh, by using the k number of nearest neighbors by applying uh, the distance metric to the uh, k number of data samples so when you are applying that finally you can calculate update the parameter value based upon the k nearest neighbors by applying the k uh, i mean uh, distance to the k nearest neighbors uh, the uh, k nearest uh, samples and xq then this is the uh, last function of each and every sample here and this is the uh, sample value so based on that we can uh, uh, optimize the uh, locally weighted regression so once you are getting the j of theta close to zero then you can stop this my updation of weights thanks for watching